Hi you guys, it's Cassie. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I had a special request for a video, um, actually from a few people, uh, just kind of explaining how I use my journal. Um, and I'll show you guys some of my spreads uh, in my current journal. I got this journal from Amy at Flossy May Cottage. Um, she sent it to me uh, earlier this year as like a surprise, um, like a surprise happy mail, um, just as like an encouragement for me. Um, and it has been uh, just like this, this constant uh, thing of happiness for me. Um, and I also use it uh, in multiple ways. So I use it for some like faith journaling um, and prayer journaling. And also I store things that I've received in happy mails and just like those types of memories. And then I'm also using it to um, document some of my like happier moments in life. Um, so I'm just going to jump in and show you guys how I'm using it. Uh, so this one is quite a bit different than m like most of my journals in the past, uh, in that I am working it straight from front to back. Um, so as I come to a page, I'm just like doing whatever I wanted to do that day. Uh, so it is in order, um, but my mind does not really work in a linear fashion. Uh, so it is still kind of sporadic, um, as if like I was just working it randomly, like I have all my other junk journals in the past. Uh, okay. So in the front, I just have a couple of like cards that people have mailed me. Um, these both came in happy mails. Uh, and so those just tuck in the front cover here. And then I made a title page, which is just really a collage with, um, different papers that I liked. Uh, and then I just have adhered the note that Amy sent me when she sent me this journal. So I made it into like a fold out like that. And then it just ties closed with a little piece of string. Um, so this is the only page that I did not work right away. Uh, and I attached this tag that I got in a letter or a, like a pen pal mail. Um, and then this is actually a fold out envelope. Uh, so what I'm doing with this envelope, let's see if I'm in frame. What I'm doing with this envelope is just storing things that I want to use later in my journal. Um, so right now it's empty because I've used everything or it's just like in this box um, that I pull out when I'm ready to work in my journal. Uh, oh, by the way, it is um, storming outside, but I thought that was just a really nice um, like ambient sound for this video. But that's why it's slightly dark. Uh, it, it looks kind of like I'm recording at night, but it's actually midday, um, but we have a nice thunderstorm today, so. Uh, and then this page I made, um, actually pretty recently. Like, I just started really working in this journal. Like, I was storing things in it for a while, and I just had things clipped in the pages while I was deciding how to use it, and so... But when I decided to use it, how I'm using it now, it was right after I had left my home with my husband. Um, so until then, I had just been writing, like, prayer things and clipping them in the pages. I took all that out, and it's now, like, in a box waiting for its own journal. Um, and I've just been journaling kind of what has been happening since... Uh, since I left and it's not all bad um, again I'm I'm writing things that I remember or want to remember from the past and 
um, happy things and encouragements and things like that. Um, so on this page, it was right after I left uh, with my son and it was just about going to the Lord for rest and um, like a reminder that I'm not the first one that this has really happened to. Uh, and then this is actually like a big page size pocket. And so I have been keeping like all these like gift receipts and things that people have sent me as like happy mails and um, gifts for linen and things like that uh, since I've left. Uh, just as like a reminder, like I'm not alone. I'm not in this alone and I have a ton of people that love me and love my son and um, want to encourage us. Uh, and then this page is just about home um, and it has this nice tip in. This came from Amy. This was a piece that she put in. Um, and I just thought that it reminded me of like curtains. And so I wrote about um, a wife building her home. Well, a wise woman, not a wife necessarily, but it was just like my feelings about, um, yeah, being like a good base, a foundation for a happy home. And like, that was kind of my mission as a wife and um yeah I strive to do that every day uh and then this page uh actually came in a happy meal and I just loved this uh all right <laughs> it it was a huge pocket and she had stuffed it uh this is from D she stuffed it with uh like a ton of things and I just love this pocket so much so I just attached it directly onto the page like I glued the back and this next page was very like it was very small like I think the end of the page is only this wide so I just glued the page and stuck it to the back of this pocket but the pocket was like about the size of the journal so I thought it worked well um, and there are no rules in my journal so that works um and then I just tucked in this big tag that I made um and I loved this little project it was a challenge from um Dots Design Sh Inspiration Shop I keep getting their name mixed up since they changed it um but anyway it was like this challenge that they put out with like all these different pieces and um sorry I'm just making sure I'm in frame um all these different pieces on like a collage sheet and I was inspired to make this from that sheet so I did and obviously there's another pocket but I just took this in there like that and then just a little poem that I liked from Helen Steiner Rice Um, and then this page was one of those memory pages. So this was taken almost exactly a year ago. Um, about a year ago, my son and I had actually come to live with my mom. Um, and I just wanted to like remind myself that this is like not the first time that I have left my husband and um, just like a reminder to not not go back um, this time so uh, yeah I just wanted to remember it by this picture of my little boy and he had picked my mom some flowers and he was carrying them into the house and walking through the tall grass and I just loved this little picture and his hair was just starting to grow in and so I just wanted to remember that. And uh, then on the next page, I wanted to document Easter, um, which was basically, <laughs> I think the last weekend, um, we were totally at home. 
with my husband and uh yeah so I just loved that day and it was like just this little glimmer of a happy time um before all of this happened so I wanted to put in this picture of Lennon hunting his easter eggs and he thought it was so fun in fact he like made me go hide the eggs again and um so that was just a really fun day and then this page I just glued down like this piece of book page because I love the illustration um and then again this was like a piece that Amy had put in the journal and I love that and so I just wrote like a little scripture behind. I didn't write it out, but just a, a verse to go to when I need some encouragement. And then on this page, I made a little collage tag. Um, yeah, which I journaled on the back and put in another scripture that I like about love. Um, so this page I just journaled about uh like what love is supposed to be like um like biblically and um yeah so I just like wanted to encourage myself with that because yeah well I'll just leave it at that that's a pretty personal page <laughs> Uh, okay, and then, um, this page, so there was another picture that I wanted to use on this page, and I think I actually tucked it inside the pocket, uh, I'll see in a second, but, um, back in January, Lennon and I went to story time, um, with two of our friends, um, Sarah and Juniper, and... So this was just like about that time. So this was like just a really fun day and it was at the library and there were all these other kids there and it was kind of like one of the last outings we had really before people started to get freaked out about coronavirus. And so we, yeah, I just wanted to like document this happy time that we had with our friends and I really miss them and um yeah so Sarah is expecting her second baby now and I just really don't want to like risk um making her sick and so we have not seen them but we like we zoom and see each other that way but it's just not the same as going to the library and story time and all that and then on this page is about Mother's Day. Um, so my husband got me this card and a coffee mug, which I drink out of all the time. Uh, and yeah, so even though I was gone, he still like gave me this um, from him and Lennon and it was just a really sweet gesture so I wanted to keep the card and then inside I'm, I just glued it in like a pocket and then added this cute green washi and then inside I've just tucked in another picture of linen coloring <laughs> Uh, and then on this page is just a picture that I really like of Lennon and I. And I've just added in some little collage details and a little tab. And then on this page, I've just, this was another Mother's Day card that I got this year. And I just love the flowers. So I cut those out and made them into another little tuck spot and clipped on this vintage playing card that I liked with a rose on it and just tucked in some of my favorite pictures of linen and then on this side I wrote a letter to myself um and I'm not gonna read the letter but I'll show you under it was just some more like basic collaging And then on the back, I wrote 
Um, so my friend Angela, uh, maker, maker mom on Instagram, uh, sent me this prayer from me and Lennon the other day. And so I just wanted to write it down and stick it in my journal. So there's that. And then, um, this page I wrote about just a moment of kindness in our journaling community and like support of me as a mom and um and then also I wanted to remember getting my first order of uh like handmade papers from Heather and so I I clipped off a little piece of one of the embossed pages and used it in this spread and added some of her packaging as a big tab because I loved it so much. Uh, and then on this side, I used another little piece from um, actually the same Happy Mail as this big pocket um, and just added it uh, with a few things. So the letter that I got with that Happy, Happy Mail is in here. And just a little card which I have yet to journal on but this was my favorite card that Heather sent me also from the same packaging here and then just a little quote for encouragement and then on this side this was a spread that I made um and I just wanted to like encourage myself to rest and um like be at peace and remember that even Jesus like had moments where he would go and pray and just be still and um so I just wanted to make this really calming spread uh and then I got this paper from Maureen quite a while ago um but I just love this page and I've been waiting for the right time to use it and I just thought this was the perfect page for that so um I'll link her uh, in the description box is anyone that I've mentioned in this video I'll link in in the description box of this video um, and then this is the very last spread this is about the halfway point in this journal uh, this is the very last spread that I've made and I made it last night uh, and it was just like I've kind of gotten past a lot of the anger that I'm feeling for my husband like I'm yes I'm still absolutely angry but I am really really sad and just mourning like my marriage and um so this was about both mourning my marriage and also um like kind of hope for the future and plans for like my new home and things like that uh so I wrote a scripture here and a couple more that I can go back and read. And then this, <laughs> this is a little vintage piece that I got in one of my design team kits from Lisa that I just didn't use. Um, and, but it says you have a strong constitution, strong mind and are very tenacious. You make your plans and follow them cr clear through. Um, and it was from one of those fortune teller scale things. Um, but I just love that. So I just turned it into a little tab with a staple there and then just some collage with, um, I got a new Maggie Holmes paper pad and, uh, her sticker book. And so I wanted to use some of those in that spread too. And then on the back here, I've just journaled about all the things that I just said. And then this is just a little paper bag that I've attached, um, and put on some pictures of roses because everyone knows I love them. Uh, but yeah, that's it in this journal so far. I'm gonna continue to use it kind of in the same way, just like my thoughts and feelings and just words of encouragement sprinkled in and memories of times with Lennon and just life right now and in the past, things that have made me happy. Um, so yeah, that's how I'm using this junk journal. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this and gathered some inspiration. I know like my, uh, my way of journaling is just really <laughs> sporadic and whatever I feel like that day, 
Um, so some days I'll collage more and some days I'll write a lot and it just depends on my mood that day. So yeah, um, hopefully you guys have liked this video. Uh, in the future, when I have a, a bit more time, um, maybe I'll make kind of a journal with me video, but I just wanted to answer that kind of request for a video and yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Um, anyway, uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you've liked this video and, uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe to me. Um, I mostly do junk journal flip throughs of like projects that I've made. Uh, so a video of this journal will be coming soon. Um, along with its littler, like, field note size journal that I've made just like it. Well, similar to it. Um, but yeah, that's mostly what I post. I want to start doing more journal with me's and things like that on this channel. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.